Well, hi ho Stampers, Deb Valder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I am so excited to bring to you this little clutch. I'm going to show you how to transform a 12 by 12 sheet of paper into this cute little clutch right here. Um, you can also take that 12 by 12 sheet of paper and make it into different sizes, and if you hop on over to my blog, I will show you how to do that. So here is the clutch done with um, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Here is this cute, adorable little bag. Um, that is also done from that same 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And you can also do a large bag from that same 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now you're gonna need two 12 by 12s for this one, but if you hop on over to my blog, I'll give you all the measurements so that you can do either size. So here is number one, here is number two, and they're all done exactly the same except for a few of the measurements, that's it. All the scoring, all the, the folding, everything is done. It's just so adorable. And what a, a really neat way to present your gifts to someone. So let me tell you, um, I like to do these. Let me just show you this one right here. I'm going to move these things out of the way right here. And I'm going to show you what I did with this little guy right here. So here is my little clutch. And inside it, you can put anything that you want as far as a gift goes. But what I like to do is I like to give gifts of cards because everybody loves to send out cards or they just need to send out cards. So you can make a pack of all occasion cards or whatever. So it fits about five envelopes and about five cards. Now, these are cards that I had done and these are my triangle cards. I do have a video on the triangle card also, um, but here is my little triangle card right here. And like I said, I fit five of these into this little clutch, five envelopes, five little cards. All right, so let's get, let's get going and show you just how easy it is. So the first thing I did was I took my 12 by 12 paper and I cut it down to um, six by 10 and a half. So let me just show you that. Here's my six by 10 and a half piece of paper. And then what I did, was I'll bring in my scoreboard. Uh, let me grab my little piece on the back. I brought in my scoreboard and what I did was I scored it at four and a half and I scored it at six. Okay, so I have a ten and a half piece of paper. I scored it at four and a half and I scored it at six, and that's all there is to the base of this little guy right here. Isn't that so neat? Then what I did was I cut two pieces of paper that are, my little sides right here are two by six, and what I did was I scored it at a quarter, I scored it at one inch, and then I scored it at one and three quarters inches. All right, so you have a quarter of an inch on either side. And then you need to do one more piece right here. You have to score this at four and a half. All right, now you need to do two of these, all right, so that you have both of your sides. All right, just like that. I'm gonna show you how to put the, the uh, adhesive on in just a moment, but that's the two pieces for the side. Let me just show you what we're doing. We're working on this piece right here and this piece right here. Now let's show you how to do the top. All right, so the top is a piece that is three by six, and I scored it at one inch. Okay, so I'm just gonna push this all the way to the side, score at one inch, and we are good to go. All right, now we have um, all of those pieces, and we are ready to start putting this together. So let's put our scoreboard away. And the paper that I'm using for today is from the Good Life prints, from Fun Stamper's Journey. These are the Good Life prints. And you'll see that I'm using all the, the different, um, the different uh, patterns that they have in here. All right, so now we're gonna take this little guy right here. All right, I folded it in. I used my uh, crease tool and I just folded everything um, nice and neat, okay? Now what we're gonna do is to take these our sides, let's grab our sides right here, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take our crease tool and just fold things in. Now I'm gonna fold them before I cut, all right? So I'm just gonna take and fold in that quarter inch on this side, fold in the quarter inch on this side. All right, and then this one we're gonna take, so we folded both of these going in, this one we're gonna fold the opposite way. And that is going to be our little crease right there. 
All right, now one more fold, okay? So this is the only one that's gonna be folded up. The others are, are getting folded down along with this one. So this one is gonna get folded down. You'll know when you start putting it together. Now what we need to do is to just trim a little bit. So I'm gonna take my Grand Pro shears and what I wanna do, let me just show you with a, a pencil mark, okay? So what I wanna do, here is the fold or the crease right there. We wanna take just a little bit off of there and continue that going up. So we're gonna go up right here and we're gonna go down. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. If you feel more comfortable using um, a pencil to mark it out, you can, but you really don't have to. And when you're done, it's gonna look like this, all right? So what we wanna do is to just get a little bit of this um, off so when we fold it, it's not so bulky at the seams, all right? We're gonna go right up to there and then we're gonna turn. And what we're doing is making sure that we get right to that little crease right there, that little, that little crease where the two of these creases meet, all right? That's where you want to pivot when you go to the next direction, all right? You don't, you don't have to worry about taking too much or too little off, all right? All right, so there is that. Now what we're gonna do is to take and put our adhesive on these little guys right here. So I will grab my uh, white liner tape right here, find the end of it, and I am going to take and put a um, piece right here. All right, close to the seam. You want them to get them close to the seam so they don't pull up on you, all right? And then we're gonna take and put it close to the seam without going over the seam. Now, my, my um, White liner tape is just a hair bit bigger because I'm not going all the way over to the seam, but close to the seam, all right? And I'm gonna show you that you do want to take and um, trim it off. Now, if you have our Grand Pro shears, you gotta remember that these are um, uh, non-stick scissors, so um, you, can cut, you can cut anything that's gooey and gluey and they won't stick to them, all right? You don't need any goo gone for these little guys right here, okay? There's that one, and there's that one. All right, and then these just fall right off, okay? But they don't leave any residue. Whoops, let me open them up here. They don't leave any residue on them. I love how that works. Okay, now they do stick to your fingers though, all right? So what we're gonna do now all right, so we've got all of these pieces done. So these two pieces are done. So this little guy, done. This little guy, done. I like to get all my pieces done before we take and um, put it together because then you can just sit down and um, put it all together. Now we're gonna do the top. So remember, I have a one inch score on this. So what I need to do is to bring in my corner rounder because on the front of it, I wanna round the corners right here to give it a softer look. All right, let's put this in here so you know what I'm working on here. All right, so let's just take this. We don't wanna do the back. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. All right, so I'm just gonna take this into my new Fun Stamper's Journey corner rounder and just round both of the corners. All right, there. Now we need to take and fold this over with our crease tool. All right, and we need to put some adhesive on the back of this. And we're gonna go close to the back and close to the outside. It's important to get enough adhesive on because remember, you're gonna be manipulating this. And whenever you're manipulating anything, you want the best adhesive you have. And for us, it is our white liner tape. All right, here we go. Super. Okay, so there's that. So we have our top. Now we have our, um, now for the, this one right here, uh, for the one I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna make it a little bit different. I'm not gonna put the bow on, but let me just show you some of the things that I used for that. Today I'm gonna use the um, doily die, all right? So um, you'll see how I'm gonna do that. You can also use some of our new essential borders. Very, very, very pretty. Um, but I did use the create a bow um, for these little guys right here. It's just a matter of two pieces and then your belly band around there. And um, it's very simple, but it's so adorable. Today I'm gonna show you just a little bit of a different thing because I'm giving it that home homey look, all right? So, what we're gonna do now is to, I think we have all of our pieces cut and ready to go. This is how fast and easy this is, people. So I really want you to give it a try. So we have this one little piece right here. I'm gonna turn it to where my um, uh, 
pieces are folded and I'm just gonna take off all of my adhesive and I like to do that you don't have to if you don't want to but I like to take all of my adhesive pieces off at the same time so you're not um, working with trying to get them off when your piece is halfway on to your um, your card base all right or to your purse base here all right so I'm gonna take them all off of this one and I'm gonna take them all off of the other one too so this one I'll set over on this side and this one I'll set over on this side Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to start to add them to, um, we're going to add these bases to the side. So this right here, remember we cut it down just a little bit, but what we didn't cut down is this part right here. So from this part to this part, it is the true, um, in, it is the true, uh, I think it's one and a half inches. Let me just check and see. It is uh, one and a half inches. It is th the same as our base. Now you don't want to, you don't want to glue it like this. You want the inside tab to be on the inside of your purse, all right? So I'm just gonna take, and you can even fold it down like this, and you're going to put it from crease to crease. So I just lay it down like that, and then put it, so it's just touching the edge right here. And when you fold it up, this, this corner right here should meet this corner right here, okay? So they should both look just like that. And then take your crease tool and just crease it down. Now I'm going to turn and I'm going to do the same exact thing with this one. I'm going to lay it down so that this corner and this corner meet this little edge right here. And this edge right here. There we go. Just kind of testing it before I... Um, Lay it down with my bone folder here. Now, one of the pieces I didn't tell you to cut, um, but you do need to cut, um, is this little piece right here. And this is just our um, bottom piece. And what I do is I um, cover up those little those little guys right there. And it also reinforces the bottom. So this piece right here is six by, uh, I think about one and a half. All right, so let's just take some of our white liner tape and put that on the bottom. And like I said, you don't want that to look awful on the inside. You want this to be clean and polished. All right, so here we go. Let's grab our bloom tool. And add that to the bottom. I make these all the time. They are just so pretty and so much fun and people just love them. Okay, so that still goes up, that still goes up. And you see how we, we um, got rid of all of the little yucky things on the bottom? So when we actually put our sides up like this, that's what the inside is gonna look like. Okay, alrighty. Now it's time to put our sides on. And all I do for that is to lay it on the side like this and just Kind of guide it. See, I'm looking at the top, I'm looking at the bottom, lining it up as we go along. You, you noticed I, I uh, did the top first, and then as we go down, so adorable. All right, got that side. Now we're going to do this side. All righty, everything lines up nicely, just like that. I'm not, I'm not solidifying anything yet, and I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, so now I'm just kind of temporarily putting everything down. All right, starting at the top, getting those lined up nicely, okay? And then just making sure everything lines up as they go. Are you with me on this now? Okay, so there's that one, and then Do the top first. There we go. See how nicely they line up? There we go. Now that everything lines up really well, you're going to take your crease tool and you're going to go on the inside like this and you're just going to rub all of the um, edges to make sure that we've got them down nice and secure. So I go do one side, I do the other side, I flip it over. I do one side, I do the other side, and we are good to go. Now, if you wanted to just leave your box a bag, you could do that, but we have a whole die for just our boxes that look like this. Now what I'm gonna do is to just actually put on the lid, and here is my lid right here, okay? 
and I need my bloom tool burnish those down and pick these up all right now what I'm going to do is add that to the back now there is no front and back on this because all of these are just perfect so I'm just kind of looking to see no, they both look very very good so I'm just laying it so that it lays flat on the top of this right here there we go making sure it's all flat before we crease it down use your your crease tool to make sure it's nice look at that isn't that adorable all right so now what I'm gonna do is I have these little mini um, velcro dots and I'm gonna take and put um, a velcro dot to make it closed see let me just show you isn't that cute it's little it's tiny and it does the job so I put the two of them together the positive and the negative they do have little um, mini uh, they also have little mini uh, magnets that you can use also you want to you want to kind of put it in the center and down just a little bit all right and now I'm going to take this one off maybe Okay, so we took that one off and now what I'm going to do is to just press this closed and then lay this down and there we have our little box. Now you can decorate any way that you want. If you want to take and put bows and flowers and whatnot, but because I'm making this very homey, okay, instead of doing the bow, I'm going to take and use my um, doily die. I did a full doily die, and now I can even use this on some of my cards. I needed to cut it in half, so I cut it in half. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to put that, isn't, doesn't that look like Leave It to Beaver, um, June Cleaver on Leave It to Beaver? Just, just reminds me of that, like with the, with the, uh, with the little, oops, my little pearl moved here. Let's grab um, my tool here and put my pearl back on there. Okay, there we go. Um, it just it just looks so retro to me all right so now I need to grab my journey craft glue here and I'm just gonna put little dots and spots I want to put a lot up here on the top so that it doesn't wiggle off okay I think that's good enough and then I am going to take and Lay this right here in the center. There we go. Now what I do, I use, I don't use these on my cards, but Fun Stamper's Journey, um, whoa, Fun Stamper's Journey um, has these beautiful um, clothespins and I use them for my crafting and to hold things down until they dry. So I'm gonna hold that there whilst I get my flower. Now these are the metal flowers, they come in packs. So we have the, these are the metal flowers and these are the cottage flowers right here. And they come in packs. So this one, this pack comes in those colors and this pack comes in, let's see, there's another one. It is the green one. So they all match this, this collection and they're just so adorable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rose one. They do have wires on them. So I'm gonna take the wire and I'm going to cut off the wire because I don't need the wire but I'm gonna take my craft shears you don't want to use your good shears when you do this I'm gonna just take my craft shears and cut that off and I'm gonna glue that right there so let me just take my journey craft glue again and put a big dollop on the back of this and we're gonna add that to the the middle of this I just think this is so pretty this would be pretty down here too but I want it up here for this one all right, just lay it there. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna grab my pearls. All right, so I'm gonna take my bone folder, or my, uh, my bloom tool and add, let's see, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one right here. And that's a big one. One right here. And then a little guy right over here. 
Isn't that so cute? Hang on. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. So let's take these off because that is definitely dry by now. And it's very fast drying glue. Isn't that adorable? So now if you wanted, you could take and add this to, I know that's not dry yet, but add our card to it so that we had a, a package of cards with the envelopes and our little, um, and our little guy right here, and that is our gift. Remember, you can do them in any of our designer papers. I hope you enjoyed my post for today. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Remember to hop on over to my blog for that PDF on all the different sizes of these adorable little cards. They are so cute. I added a couple more uh, pearls. Isn't that adorable? Okay, you take care. Have a great day again. Thank you for stopping by.